Welcome back to That's Life with John Carver. This is episode number 232, and I'm calling it Remove Your Overburden. Remove Your Overburden. Now, not that many years ago, um, as of the date of this taping, my brother-in-law Thomas works with Turner Mining Group, which is based out in Indiana. And in 2019, I saw a post on LinkedIn that, that really caught my attention. Actually, it was a word in that post that got me looking at Google for a definition. The word is overburden. Overburden. What in the world does overburden mean? I've heard burden before, but it means, according to Wikipedia, which you know, sometimes is accurate, sometimes it's not. The definition is, quote, in mining overburden, which is also called waste or spoil, is the material that lies above an area that attends itself to economical exploitation, such as the rock or soil ecosystem, which lies above coal or ore body. By analogy, overburden is also used to describe the soil and other material that lies above a specific geographic feature, such as other minerals, unquote. Now, I bet you never thought of your past struggles or your past issues as overburden. I certainly didn't until I came across that word. I bet you never thought about your past hurts or your challenging relationships as overburden or maybe your failed attempts as overburden or your losses or other things that kind of accrued over top of some things that may have been valuable like your goals in life. In mining, as I understood it, people have to dig up the overburden in order to reach the valuable material that's under the tons of dirt and debris. Got me wondering about an analogy for your life and certainly mine. I'm wondering if you and I can do the same thing in our lives. What if you and I dug up all the stuff that's been buried or maybe untapped and get rid of it? Maybe it would expose some things, that some goals and dreams that maybe have been covered up by, by disappointments and heartache and, and failed attempts and other events that maybe tried to keep your goals and your dreams down. What, what if there's a couple ways that you can get rid of the overburden in your life? Well, there's, there's a couple. Actually, there's probably more than a few. I'll share one or two with you today. It's, it's, you must understand that regret, which is a form of overburden, it will absolutely keep you looking back at what you should have done. If you're like a lot of people, regret's a terrible thing. Regret is like a, a thief of, of millions of people's dreams and goals because it keeps you looking backwards instead of forwards. You have to spend time with people that will not add to your overburden. Have you ever been around negative people that seem to add stuff to your head, like negative stuff? That's an example of the overburden that you can walk away from. I, I know people like that. I'm sure you know people like that. The people who remind you of your, your mistakes and, and the and the number of times you've tried and failed and fallen on your face. You don't need those people in your life. You can be kind to them and courteous, but you certainly should not hang around them. How about those people who plant those negative seeds in your mind that, that maybe you're not good enough, you're not smart enough, you're not talented enough. Next, you need to associate with people that have gone through enough experiences and enough pain that can teach you how to remove the overburden, to dig through all the stuff you've gone through in your life, to expose that potential in you. That's essential if you want to live a life that is extraordinary. It does it happen accidentally? Does it happen by chance? No, it doesn't actually. Finally, you have to develop the habits to reduce the chances of overburden accumulating again. Again, you have to reduce the chances that overburden will accumulate again. And here's a couple of ways to do that. One of the ways is to get my weekly emails. I have those, the link in the, in the information below. Subscribe to my weekly emails. Read books about people that have paid the price, that have learned how to overcome and to avoid accumulating more overburden in their lives. Decide every single day to get closer to your goals. Write down your goals. In fact, write down the agenda 
for that day to get closer to your goal so that the overburden won't accumulate as a result of passivity, as a result of discouragement. I read a quote, I don't know how many years ago, it says this, quote, in two days, tomorrow will be yesterday. Again, in two days, tomorrow will be yesterday. So if you keep allowing overburden to accumulate, you need to start digging it out to reach the wealth of your potential. My name is John Carver. Thank you for watching.